Shiva means auspicious. So whenever we want auspiciousness in life, we should worship Shiva. In fact, Varamihir goes on to say ninth house as Shubha, auspicious. So if there is any problem related to ninth house, one is not getting a government job, one is having problems with their fathers, authorities, anyone even having problem with governments, one does not feel lucky. One should go and worship Shiva. Now what is luck? Meeting right people at right point of time is luck. We generally say that there are obstructions in life. When we want to go and do something, things are getting obstructed. This obstruction is not having luck, being unlucky. You know, you go to a place with the purpose of enjoying vacation. But when you go there, you find you cannot enjoy, but there are hassles only. You married for a good life, but your marital life is not going well. You had child, but your child is having difficulty. You had child after so much effort, after so much dedication and devotion. And now with that child, your uh, setting, you are not going along with that child. These are all signs of bad luck. And Shiva is the God who takes care of bad luck. Talking of obstruction, if there is an obstruction in marriage, then Shiva is the most important one. And the thing with Shiva is, both male and female can worship Shiv. Right? This is very specifically, though Shivaling, some believe that woman should not touch, should not worship. However, the taking the idol of Shiv and worshipping it, woman can also do and woman should do. Specifically for the purpose of marriage, if there is an obstruction in marriage, if one is trying very hard, not getting married, worship of Shiv is very... Highly recommended, very beneficial. Finance related issues. Worship of Shiva is very recommended. If one is getting constantly disturbed by people, worship of Shiva is very recommended. Even after doing a lot of hard work, you are not getting time for yourself, your self-development. Worship of Shiva is highly recommended. And most importantly, if you have done all the remedies but are not getting any result at all, if you have tried multiple remedies, but nothing is working for you, then the remedy of Shiv is best. When we do worship and when we want to worship all the nine planets, but we don't have image of the nine planets available separately, we worship all the nine planets in Shivaling. Ling means symbol. Some people take, you know, Shivaling, some people take different interpretation for sibling people take. But according to me, Ling means a symbol. So it is told, you know, the ling of the native, he is either male or female, istra ling or pull ling. So ling means a symbol. The symbol of Shiva is Shiva ling. The symbol of Vishnu is Sudarshan Chakra. The symbol of Devi is three eyes. Right? The symbol of Devi is the sword. So Shiva ling is the symbol of Shiva. That is symbolic of creation. That is symbolic of destruction. That is symbolic of everything. So what I was saying that all the nine planets are worshipped in Shivaling and once you start worshipping Shivaling, then all the nine planets get pacified at once. This is the greatness of Shiva. In fact, when no remedy is working, no effort is giving result, just by mere worship of Shiva, one can get it in for financial issues and for issues related to marriage, the worship of Shiva is so, so, so brilliant. That I have repeated it twice in the video just to emphasize the importance. Not only this, if one is having any type of sexual issues, you know, dissatisfaction, not having child, and anything as such, the worship of Shiva is very essential. Right? The worship, not because Shiva, not because Shivaling is the male reproductive worker, no, not because of that. Because Shiv indicates the basic energy. Shiv rule over the five tattvas. Right? In male, the tattva of Agni, when it gets disturbed. In female, when the tattva of Jal, when it gets disturbed, it creates problems in sexuality. 
So because Shiva control all the five tattvas, it is told. The most popular mantra of five letters, Namah Shiva, I belong to Shiva. For this particular reason, he rule all the five tattvas. And once you start worshipping Shiva, all the five tattvas come in control. For this particular reason, Mirtyunje mantra is very much famous for alleviating diseases. If you look into Mirtyunje mantra, rather it is a moksha mantra which is dependent on giving salvation. The saying that Mirtyunje mantra is having that is ripen me and you know help me go out of this world, you know, make me attachment free. And all of these things are being asked in Mirtyunje, but it is very, very powerful in curing diseases. Why? Because Shiva control all the five tattvas and it is the disbalance between the tattvas, Agni, Prithvi, Vayu, Jal, Akash, which creates problem of guna, sattva guna, rajas guna and tamas guna. And according to Vedic sciences, the sattva guna, rajas guna and tamas guna is then connected to vat, pit and kaf, a disbalance between which will produce health issues. Hence the worship of Shiva is also very essential to save yourself from health issues. What? Second, specifically, there is something known as Ekaling. There are two Ekaling temples. One is in Udaipur and another is near Kamakya. Ekaling is basically that Shiva temple, 100 kilometers around which there is no other Pran Pratishtit sibling. The small siblings, siblings at home, non ancient siblings will be shivling will be many but pran pratishtit old shivling is not in 100 kilometer vicinity of this particular shivling which makes it ailing for any problem related to venus for any problem related to health for any problem related to marriage for any problem related to wealth one should visit ailing mahadev and visiting Ekalinga Mahadev will be very, very beneficial. Not only this, if you look at it, all the malefic planets, you see, planet, I will divide them into three categories, Sattvic planets, Sun, Moon, Jupiter. You want to do the remedy, Vishnu is the best way, because Vishnu is Sattvaguna. You want to remedy Mercury and Venus, they are Rajasic, Devi is the best way. If you want to remedy Rahu, Ketu, Saturn, Mars, they are Tamasic planets, Shiva, Shiva is the best. So whenever the seventh house is getting afflicted by malefic planets, what you should do? You should do Lingashtakam. Right? You should do Lingashtakam. This Lingashtakam I will recite in this video. We'll also talk about the benefits of Lingashtakam. But currently we are talking about the benefits of Shiva. Not only the seventh house. Any house getting afflicted by any planet, you should do worship of Shiva. Lagna getting afflicted by these planets, Mars, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Panjakshri Mantra, Namah Shiva is recommended. Second house getting afflicted by these planets, eleventh house by these planets, Keeping into mind financial problems, Shiva Tanda Stotram, highly recommend. Issues related to seventh house, issues related to third house, these malefics are connected, they are creating issues, Lingashtakam, highly recommend. These malefics afflicting the fourth house, in that particular scenario, one should go with Rudrashtakam. These malefics connected to fifth house, Namah Shiva will be the remedy. These malefics connected to 6th house, Om Namah Shivaya, what is Shadakshri Mantra is the remedy. These malefics connected to 8th house and 12th house, Mirtinjaya Mantra is the remedy. These malefics are connected to 9th house, Sivu Mahimana Stotram, written by Pushpadant, is highly recommended. They are, these planets are connected to the 10th house, Sivu Manash Puja is highly recommended. Though more than one stotras are also connected to houses that I will tell you in the forthcoming videos if I continue to make. Right. But these are the bare minimum that you can do when these malefics are connected to these houses and 
just by doing it for 40 days one chanting for 40 days one chanting every day for 40 days you will find significant difference when to start the chanting from shivratri is nearby you can start it from shivratri or there is a pradosh there are two pradosh that falls every month pradosh is at the end of triyodashi starting of chaturdashi so you can start chanting mantras of shiva from any pradosh pradosh falls twice a month you can consult a panjang for the exact time you can start worshipping shiva from any of the pradosh and that will be very useful highly beneficial the speciality with shiva is that when you worship him when you worship him not only people become auspicious to you but you also become auspicious that means you have good thoughts you have good approach sometimes what happen we think that others are disturbing us self reflection we generally don't do and we don't you know contemplate on for how many people we are the nuisance so being a good person for the society you do good you get good right being a good person for the society self introspection is what shiv gives you sankarachar tells sivoham 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 may i become like shiva 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 it is told four times sankarachar is wanting four qualities of shiva the auspiciousness auspiciousness of shiva the calmness of shiva the detachment of shiva and the quality of shiva that he does bad to none shiva is the only god who have remain in the same form from vedas to upanishads to puranas to current hinduism all other gods are distorted many gods are not featured into vedas the gods that you worship now they come from puranas not from vedas indra is very highly very strong in vedas varun is very high in vedas but how much do you worship them today but shiva present as rudra in the vedas is still there and the important point is the chant for shiva that we used for rudra abhishek rudra ashtadhyayi is there in vedas so shiva is a vaidik deity not only this you see any ancient civilization harappa mohenjodaro or even foreign ones you will find the first coins the first seals were related to shiva either the bull of shiva nandi or of shiva himself the pasupati coin so the worship of shiva is very ancient and it is shiva who have held humanity together since ages since generations not only this any powerful place that you see outside india also is somehow connected to shiva you know where i am hinting at any powerful place that you see in this world whether be it a religious place or anything as such is it, it is connected to shiva energy is connected to shiv and to keep that energy in control you know you cannot touch the god in the current state you have to purify yourself the journey of shiva the journey of shiv is from the shivling the image of shiv to the idol of shiv to shiv to the jyotirling jyotirling not the jyotirlings in india but that beam of light that appeared in front of vishnu and brahma in the puranas right so your worship should start from the worship of shiv the symbol of shiv that is best done through lingashtakam and the speciality with the lingashtakam is both men and women can do it i don't know why it is prohibited that women should not touch shivling that's some um, like god knows for what reason according to me they can touch right so i will not stop you into doing this right so if you want to touch shibling you can right this is i think rather an unfounded hoax or paradox that is being continued right so leave that particular point aside now this lingashtakam this lingashtakam is so beautiful so beautiful that it sways you away in the first shloka i will read it to you in the first shloka itself it is told brahma murari surarchit lingam brahma 
गॉड्स सुर मुरारी विष्णु ऑल वर्शिप द शिवलिंग नेक्स्ट लाइन से जन्मज दुख विनाशक लिंगम द मिजरीज विच आर फ्रॉम बर्थ टू डेथ द मिजरीज विच आर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट लाइफ clearly indicating that the miseries that are produced by bad karmas of the past life are also destroyed by doing this lingashtakam i will tell you the priyog i will tell you the uses also right they are destroyed the uses is you should chant lingashtakam that is having a total of eight eight shlokas into it so what you do you take water mix some Uh, milk into it, and then pour it over shivaling. While chanting this eight shlokas, you can do one chanting, three chanting, five chanting, seven chanting, odd number chanting. You can do pouring water mixed with milk over shivaling is the thing that you should be doing. Generally, it should be done in temple, but you can have a shivaling in your home also and can do it. But if you are going to keep a shivaling at home. it should be of parad mercury or it should be naramadeshwar right or it should be banaling only these three and in any case the size of the shivling should not exceed from this diameter from the tip of this first finger to the tip of the thumb thumb stretched out should not exceed it daily doing this pouring milk 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 mix with milk, milk water over shivling or doing it every monday you do it for one year and if there is any misery that is left in your life it cannot be impossible all type of miseries whether be it a problem of health problem of marriage problem of wealth any misery what you call misery will not be there at all because shiva destroys misery like fire destroys dried up grass jaise agni bhuse ko jalata hai waise sori waise shiv uh पाप को जला देते इज वॉट इज टोल्ड नॉट ओनली दिस अभिषेकम वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू मिल मिक्स विद वॉटर पोरिंग ओवर शिवलिंग दिस अभिषेकम दिस अभिषेकम इज टोल्ड टू बर्न ऑल द बैड कर्माज ऑफ प्रीवियस लाइफ अभिषेकम टू एनी गॉड बट स्पेसिफिकली अभिषेकम टू शिवा दिस मिल मिक्सड विथ वॉटर पोर्ड ओवर शिवलिंग इज नोन एज अभिषेकम Abhishekam is told to destroy all the sins of past life, current life, all the sins of mind, speech, and work. Manasvacha karmana, all type of sins. It is said to destroy it in every tantra. It is so powerful a remedy. It is called as the most most powerful remedy. If possible, what you should do is you should take a rudraksh mala and should put it over the head of the shivaling. Or if it is a small one, you can take one rudraksh bead and keep it over the head of the. shivling and then pour water not only this next it is told kaam daham karuna kar lingam if someone is having uncontrolled sexuality if someone is having bad thoughts in mind not having purified thoughts in his mind then doing this abhishekam is very very useful ravan darb vinashan lingam if someone is humiliated you and they are very happy humiliating you if everyone humiliates you then lingashtakam is the best remedy pouring water over shivling while chanting lingashtakam not only this as i always say humiliation comes with combusted planets so if you have any planet combusted doing this pouring water over shivling doing abhishekam of shivling for one year continuously with lingashtakam is most powerful remedy that can be done buddhi vivardhan karan lingam for children for people who are struggling to remember things who are struggling in their education who are struggling in competitive examinations lingashtakam is told to increase intelligence hence everyone into the field of learning reading writing teaching should do it for sure next it is told kanak mahamani bhushit lingam kanak means gold mahamani are the great gemstone so anyone who wants wealth of any type wealth resources jewelry if there are financial issues if there are issues related to profession abhishekam of shivling with lingashtakam should be done kumkum chandan lepit lingam pankaj har susobhit lingam sanjit paap vinashan lingam kumkum kumkum is a white <clears throat> sorry kumkum is a red thing ye hindus know it चंदन इज सैंडलवुड 
पंकज हार पंकज मीन्स फ्लावर हार गार्लैंड ऑफ फ्लावर्स सो स्मियरिंग द शिवलिंग विथ सैंडलवुड और स्मियरिंग द शिवलिंग विथ कुमकुम आफ्टर दिस अभिषेकम इज कंप्लीटेड एंड ऑफरिंग अ गार्लैंड ऑफ फ्लावर्स टू शिवलिंग आफ्टर दिस अभिषेकम इज कंप्लीटेड संजित पाप विनाश एंड डिस्ट्रॉयज ऑल द एक्यूमुलेटेड कर्माज इवन इफ इट इज फ्रॉम हंड्रेड लाइफ इवन इफ वन इज डूइंग अ सिन continuously since last 100 lives if they do abhishek to shivling and after abhishek smear the shivling with chandan sandalwood and offer a garland of flowers to shiv that is destroyed right dinakar koti prabhakar lingam one becomes effective like sun is effective to the world if they daily chant this lingashtakam you can chant it separately you can just chant it chanting should be 1 3 5 7 uh, odd number or you can chant it while pouring milk mixed with milk mixed with water over shivling that is called as abhishekam right ashta daridra vinashit lingam eight types of penury eight types of financial problem financial problem coming because of past life karma financial problem coming because of not getting a job financial problem coming because of a lot of expenditure all these eight types of financial problems or it is also connected to ashta lakshmi the penury related to vehicle the penury related to having a child the penury related to marriage the penury related to grains if any of the ashta lakshmis are not blessing you if any of the eight forms of lakshmi is not blessing you lingashtakam will make sure that lakshmi blesses you this is very strange if you read shiv tandav stotra it is told that one who read shiv tandav stotra have stir lakshmi people think that to please lakshmi you should worship lakshmi but the secret in spirituality is to please lakshmi one should worship shiva because one who worship shiva have stir lakshmi fixed wealth fixed blessings of lakshmi to everyone lakshmi just glances a sight and it is believed that one single sight of lakshmi makes one very wealthy but if you worship shiva the sight the gaze of lakshmi is constantly fixed on you that means you are very blessed very fortunate very wealthy those who who's even ancestors have done a lot of shiva worship you know if your father grandfather have done a lot of shiva worship you see their children's excel very well in life there is no point in their life where they suffer from miseries even if they suffer from miseries for a time being they don't keep on suffering from miseries for a lifetime right even if ancestors have worshiped shiva even their children grandchildren do not keep suffering from any type of issue marital issue health issue for long it it easily gets burnt through the grace of shiva right so chanting lingashtakam every day or pouring water uh, milk mixed with milk over shivling that is called abhishekam doing it every day either in temple or home is very useful while chanting this lingashtakam so now you can see lingashtakam is uh, here what is written first shloka brahma murari surarchit lingam nirmal bhashit sobhit lingam janmaj dukh vinashak lingam tat pranamami sada seva lingam देव मुनि प्रवरार्चित लिंगम काम दहम करुणाकर लिंगम रावण दर्प विनाशन लिंगम तत् प्रणमा सदा शिव लिंग सर्व सुगंधि सुलेपित लिंगम बुद्धि विवर्धन कारण लिंगम सिद्ध सुरासुर वंदित लिंगम तत् प्रणमा सदा शिव लिंगम कनक महामनि भूषित लिंगम फनिपति वेष्टित शोभित लिंगम दक्ष सुयज्ञ विनाशन लिंगम तत् प्रणमा सदा शिव लिंगम कुमकुम चंदन लेपित लिंगम पंकज हार सुशोभित लिंगम संचित पाप विनाशन लिंगम तत् प्रणमा सदा शिव लिंगम देवगणार्चित सेवित लिंगम भावय भक्ति भिरेव च लिंगम दिनकर कोटि प्रभाकर लिंगम तत् प्रणमा सदा शिव लिंगम अष्ट दलोपरी वेष्टित लिंगम सर्व समुद्भव कारण लिंगम अष्ट दरिद्र विनाशित लिंगम तत् प्रणमा सदा शिव लिंगम 
सुरगुरु सुरवर पूजित लिंगम सुरवन पुष्प स्थार्चित लिंगम परात परम परमात्मक लिंगम तत् प्रणवामि सदा शिवलिंगम इन एंड इट इज टोल्ड फलश्रुति लिंगाष्टकम इदम पुण्यम यह पठेद शिव सन्निधौ शिव लोकम अवापनोति शिवेन सह मोदते दैट मींस वन हु रीड्स दिस लिंगाष्टक he gets punya he gets good karma he goes to shiva lok after death and lives with shiv the thing with lingashtakam is it is first of all very easy secondarily it is very poetic easily you can remember it and most importantly to do rudra abhishekam to pour water over shiva either you do rudra chamakam that is very difficult that comes from vedas the chanting of the same is even difficult for trained pandits but lingashtakam is a simple melodious alternative to the same which is if not more equally effective at least so that is kalpataru of kali yuga that is a vardan that is grace for the people of kali yuga who cannot chant rudra chamakam properly <clears throat> right the process if you are going to do it with shivling should be very simple you should take a bath sit on asan have a shivling in front of you most probably because you are going to do abhishekam the shivling should be placed in a plate or a cup kind of stuff right milk mixed with water you have to keep and this have to kept into a pitcher into a into a glass or anything as such the glass etc can be of anything <clears throat> right you pour water over shivling while chanting this so either you can keep a print out of it in one of the hands and can pour it or you can easily remember it right or you can just pour water over shivling and after that read it after pouring sandalwood should be smeared around shiva a garland of flower should be given and after that pranam tat pranamami shada shivlingam a pranam to shivling should be done and if it is done continuously for one year there is no sin no misery no bad karma no disease no penury is there that can sustain you do it for 20 days continuously you will feel the different yourself for women who are menstruating they will not do it for the days of menstruation right that is commonly understood right so with this there is a lot to talk about shiva the glory of shiva is so great that even all the 18 puranas cannot describe it so what i can do in a video but in nutshell i have told you that nasti shiva samah puja this this shloka i have made myself right now nasti shiva samah puja from my experience i can tell you that there is no worship akin to the worship of shiva